fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. To Indians and settlers, plainsmen and pioneers, he was the symbol and the champion of justice. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might, and soon the cry of hi Silver came to be the battle cry of law and order on the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Indian country. There's going to be trouble. Oh, Silver. Away. In the moonlight, two men sat their horses below a great cliff that reared out of the desert. The face of the cliff was honeycombed with cliff dwellings carved out of the solid rock. Weird and desolate and forbidding in the pale moonlight. The men were alone, but they spoke cautiously in whispers. We could make a min of money out of this scheme if we play our cards right. You're playing with fire, Ferris. The Indians are superstitious. These cliff dwellings are sacred to them. Look at them. All white and scary in the moon. Give you the shivers, don't they? That's what I'm saying. Wonder how long since anybody lived there, Kelsey. Must be a couple of hundred years at least. Whoever they were, they've been dead a long time. I bet if those old cliff dwellers come back again, the engines would bow down and worship them, huh? I wish you wouldn't talk about it. <laughs> so you're scared. All right, huh? what if I am? I don't like your idea one bit, Ferris. I say let's get out of here. We're staying. I say get out. There's a curse on this place. We'll have to We're get... staying, Kelsey. Get that straight. I got a scheme and it's gonna work. We're staying. I tell you, I see it for full moon, Eagle Feather. They come back to Valley of Cliff Dwellers. It is forbidden for tribe to venture near Valley of Cliff Dwellers, Buffalo Horn. It is taboo. Yes. Yet you have gone there. No. You know, always I stop before Valley. But I have eyes. Even at night I can look across Valley and see cliff dwellings high on cliff. And you swear this? I swear it, O oh Eagle Feather. I swear ghosts of cliff dwellers have come back. If that is true, it is bad omen. I tell only you. You are chief of our tribe. You have done wisely. We shall see. We are close to Valley now. Uh, it is dark. There is no moon. Hark. Listen, O Eagle Feather. It is so. I never heard it. But it has been told me by my father and his father before him for generations. It is war drum of cliff dwellers. The war drum of cliff dwellers. Someone comes, my son. Get back, back. You heard, Eagle Feather? I saw them, my son. They galloped straight into the valley. Their skins glowed with strange light. 
The horses glowed also. They rode straight in the valley. Then suddenly, they disappeared. I've seen the same thing for a long time. Every night, O Eagle Feather. You were right, my son. Cliff dwellers have come back. They are great spirits. We must offer them food and treasure. The tribe has not much to offer. We must offer them all we have and more. They are great spirits, my son. We must make them offerings, lest they cast spell on our tribe. We must... be done about them doggone engines. They used to come into town to trade at our store, but they don't buy anything anymore. Uh, they come into town all right. They come into town to steal and rob. Uh, that's that's right. Right. Now, now, hold on there. Hold your horses just a minute. I called this meeting to figure out what's gone wrong. Something's happened to them engines. They're dangerous, that's what. No, no, I mean they're in some kind of trouble. We all know them. We done a right smart lot of trading with them. They was always fair and square. Why, old Eagle Feather and Buffalo Horn are good engines. They don't come any finer. I always mistrust them. Hold your tongue, Johnson. I got the floor. What I mean is, those engines are worried about something. What? I don't know what. But they changed, that's all. You're right. But that doesn't get back them furs they took. For my cattle. My money's gone. Two hundred in cash. All right, all right. It ain't all right. We need them soldiers back again. No, we you think we do? Uh, what else? The engines acted peaceable when the soldiers was here. I tell you, it was a mistake for him to go. Not so fast, Johnson. Why not wait a while before sending for the soldiers? Another month or two won't make Not anything. another day. We waited two months already. Right. Well, then, I reckon it's settled. If that's the way you folks want it, I'll ride for the soldiers tonight. It'll take me a week to get there and a week to get back. And maybe another two weeks for the soldiers. Yeah, maybe they'll have to gather up a detail. But all we can do is ask for them. Mind you, I don't agree, but I bow to the will of the majority. Meeting's adjourned. Uh, with a blade. I'll need some food for the trip and cartridges. Reckon you can open up the store? I sure can, Carlisle. Follow me, I'll open the store right now. I'll get my horse. Uh, hey, Kelsey. Mary, a minute, will you? Ferris, what are we going to do? I tried to stop him. So but... did I, but Carlisle's going for the soldiers. If they come back, our little scheme is finished. We got our horses outside, Kelsey. We could get out on the trail and wait for him. <laughs> You ever hear a dry gulch? He ought to be showing up soon. Moon makes an easy target. He'll go right past. It's not more than ten feet. How about our horses? I tied up to muzzles. They won't make her. And his own horse will cover any stamp, and they do. Ferris, there he comes. Yeah. He ain't riding awful fast. No. Carlisle likes them engines. He hates to do this. <laughs> We'll uh, help him not to, huh? You give the word. Not yet. Let him get at point blank range. Get ready. Another 20 feet now. Hello! Hello! What the two riders coming up? What do we do? We can't shoot now. No, not now. Get on your horse. You've gone crazy. Come on, do like I say. We can't let Carlisle suspect we come out here to kill him. We're going out to join him. Hey, Carlisle! You having any trouble, Carlisle? Are these two stopping you against your wish? Why, Ferris, Kelsey, where in thunder did you come from? Well, we, uh, that yeah, is... Me and Kelsey rode out ahead of you. You know, there's been so much trouble lately, wanted to make sure nobody tried to stop you. For instance, these two hombres. Who are they? What do they want? Ferris and Kelsey. So you came out here to protect Carlisle. That's right, mister. And Carlisle, he's wearing a mask. An outlaw. Most of those <laughs> guns before mine go off. I, uh... Why, why, sure, mister. You've got a lightning-fast draw. Put your guns away. We don't mean no harm. That's right. As long as Carlisle knows you, we're, we're satisfied. It's all right. I know him. Tonto and I want to talk to you, Carlisle, alone. Oh, sure, mister. So if Ferris and Kelsey will head back for town, or wherever they plan to go. Where else? And I'm saying adios. Now. Sure, sure. Uh, adios. Adios, Carlisle. Well, masked man, what is it? Tonto stopped in at the Widow Blake's for supplies, Carlisle. She told us where you're heading. That's right. We know those Indians. They wouldn't do anything wrong. Mister, I don't savvy who you might be, but I agree with you about them Indians. There's some kind of trouble they got into. I'd stake my best horse on that. Do you trust us? Well, if the Widow Blake does, I do. Good. Carlisle, don't go for those soldiers. Huh? Give Tonto and me the chance to talk to Eagle Feather and his tribe. We already talked. But you, not Injun. Tonto talk Injun talk. Tonto can discover what we can't. Is it a deal? But, mister, I, we voted on it. 
I'm duty-bound to ride for help. All we want is two days, Carlyle. Just two days. Well, I... All right, mister, I'll do it. But heaven help us if you fail. I'll head back for town now. Wait, Carlyle. Huh? The less people know of this, the better. You can tell the widow Blake. She'll keep our secret. Kino, I'll tell her and camp out of town. And Carlyle. Yeah? I think you might also tell the two men who are just here. Ferris and Kelsey? But, mister, you said I you did I changed didn't... my mind, and I've got my reasons. Now you carry out your part. Hunt and I are calling on Eagle Feather. What? Mister, you're loco. You can't go near them the way they're acting up now. You might get scalped. I thought you trusted them. Yeah, I used to, only... I'll be a maverick if I know what to believe now. Then it's up to us. Adios. Adios. Get him up, Scout. Good luck. Good luck. Hold to the Indian village up ahead. We see Wigwam. You don't appear to be very welcome, Tonto. Ah. This tribe has changed. They look poor. The wigwams are in shreds. There doesn't seem to be much food around. That's right. Tonto, a drum. Uh, that bad. That means we go away. We're not going away, Kimasabi. There's Eagle Feather. We're going to talk to him. Tai. How, Eagle Feather? Why don't you speak to your old friend? Eagle Feather speak. Eagle Feather say go. I see. The people in town say you are bad. They say you steal. If you need help, we will help. The tribe of Eagle Feather does what it must do. That is all. So there is no welcome for us here. Do not stay. My tribe obeys spirit of cliff dwellers. They come back from land beyond. We give them all we have and more. We have nothing for others. Go before you. Man, you Tonto, come in peace. Now I ask you, go in peace. There's nothing for you here. Nothing. Very well, Chief. But we'll be back. Come on, Silver. He must have it. What Eagle Feather mean when him say spirit of cliff dwellers come back? Valley of cliff dwellers empty. They not come back. That's just what we're going to find out, Tonto. There's something wrong. And I think Ferris and Kelsey are at the bottom of it. Uh-huh. They met us on the trail. Did you notice their horses? No, me not savvy. They pretended they wanted to guard Carlisle, but they left their horses muzzled. Tonto, I think they meant to drag old Carlisle. Not plenty bad. And what we do? Give them enough rope, Tonto. Give them enough rope and they'll hang themselves. Get them up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Yeah, Ferris, what's up? Plenty. That masked hombre's getting Carlisle to wait for a couple of days. How do you like that? Carlisle ain't going for the soldier? No, he told me himself. The masked man wants a couple of days to figure out what's troubling the engines. Him and his pard went to see Eagle Feather tonight. Went to see Eagle Feather? Relax. Eagle Feather didn't say nothing. Well, how do you know? He wasn't there. <laughs> Aren't we the voice of the cliff dwellers? Didn't we give him orders not to say nothing to nobody? Yeah, that's so. But still and all, Ferris, maybe we better take care of them, too. Yeah, Kelsey. Reckon we better. How? From the Valley of the Cliff Dwellers. Huh? The spirit voice will talk to the engines. They'll get orders to kill the masked man and his pod. And what the spirit voice says, the engines do. <laughs> Simple, ain't it? <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
back to our story. It was late, but not too late, when Ferris and Kelsey arrived at the valley of the cliff dwellers and stole along the silent ledges deep into the ancient ruins. And soon after, the echoing summons rolled out across the valley in the darkened plains to the wigwam of Eagle Feather. Buffalo Horn! Buffalo Horn! It is summons. Spirit of cliff dwellers call. We must go to valley. Yes, Eagle Feather. We must go. Eagle Feather and Buffalo Horn answered the summons and rode to the valley of the cliff dwellers to their accustomed place across the valley from the cliff. They waited. The echoing summons stopped, and then... Riders come soon, Eagle Feather? They will come, my son. It is later than usual. They will come, my son. Eagle Feather. They, they shine in darkness. There is no moon, but they shine with their own light. They are great spirits. What is this? They come toward us. Do not ride away as before. They come toward us. It is omen. Turn on your face, my son. We must not look upon them. Down! They are gone. Once again, they disappear into nothing. Rise, Buffalo Horn. The spirits of Valley of Cliff Dwellers have gone into beyond. Eagle Feather, they have left this message. It fell beside me. I will take it. Something written here. See how the letters glow? Written upon wolf skin. What does it tell us? I can read it. What is it? My son, mass man and friend will come again to our village. When they come, they must die. Die? But they are good men. They were once our friends. It is word of spirits. We cannot disobey. Come, my son. <laughs> Two Indians left the valley. Ferris and Kelsey watched them go from the cliff below the ruins. <laughs> Look at them travel, Kelsey. It worked. Yeah. Worked like a chore. Yeah, come on. Let's wash this shiny stuff off us and off the horses, too. Don't turn your head while you're walking. Remember, one side of us glows in the dark, but the other don't. If we turn, Eagle Feather and Buffalo Horn might see us. They won't look back. No sense taking chances. Right. We sure thought of something when we painted the horses the same way we are. <laughs> One side only. That's how it looked like we disappeared. We'd just turn around and the glow would disappear. <laughs> Kelsey, we're right smart hombres, you and me. We got a pile of furs and gold we got from them engines, Ferris. Yeah, so what? I'm just hoping nothing goes wrong, that's all. That mass man's nobody's fool. Yeah, stop worrying. This time tomorrow night, there won't be any mass man. Last night, my people, Buffalo Horn and I received message from spirits of Valley of Cliff Dwellers. Therefore, you will obey me, your chief. You have seen them, my son. Yes. Mass one and friend ride to village now. Eagle Feather, we have come back, as we said. I... You are brave men. You have been warned, yet you return. So be it. Buffalo Horn, Braves, your bows and arrows. We must hurry. They're all around us. Don't touch your gun, Tonto. This man is wise. Braves will lose arrows when you speak, Eagle Feather. Then delay no longer. Now is time. Wait. One moment, Eagle Feather. Tonto and I could fight for our lives. We have guns. Your guns do no good. We have guns and we can use them. Many Braves would die. If we are your friends. You must let me speak. Speak, Mask One. The spirits said we must... Silence! Speak. You talked about the Valley of the Spirits when we were here before. Last night, Eagle Feather, you and your son went to the valley. How do you know that? You were not alone. Tato and I saw you. We were there also. That's right. We watched. <laughs> you strangers. Valley is forbidden. Yet still you go. Him Indian. Him know that is forbidden. We go. If you at Valley, then you know what is in store for you. We can guess. We knew before we came here that our lives were at stake. And that does not matter. You came anyway. Eagle Feather, you and your tribe, listen. Before the spirits came, you were a rich tribe, weren't you? I will answer that. Yes. What have you done with all your wealth? Your furs, your gold, even your stores of food? It is custom to give us spirits from beyond ask. And when your own riches ran out, you even stole from the townspeople. Yes, it is as you say, mass man. 
When our wealth is gone, we must get more for spirits. We must. Suppose I tell you there are no spirits. You're being fooled. You have said too much. Now you must die. Wait, one more word. Tonto and I have one request. We are your prisoners. We wish one favor. Name it. Since we were once your friends, and still are, will you take us to the valley of the cliff dwellers tonight? We want to face those you call spirits. Before you die? Yes. You are brave men. So be it. Put them in wigwam. Guard them well. <laughs> Come for us. Sun is set. You sure you told Carlyle what to do? Uh, him get town's people to valley tonight. Like you say. You got plan? You brought the package we got from the doctor in town. Uh, we got it inside shirt. Here. Yeah. It's phosphorus. Put it in this water bowl. Uh. Water begin to shine in darkness. Yes, Kimosabi. Hello. Someone is coming to the wood bar. Set up another water. Last one. I come for you. Sun has set. Our drum has stopped. Listen. It is summons from spirits. Eagle Feather, I want to show you something. Tato, stand aside. Uh. The, the water. It glows with same fire as spirits. How did you do this? Are you two medicine men? No, Eagle Feather. It's only a trick. There's a material that glows in the dark when it's wet. If you rub this on your face, it too will glow in the dark. And that's how you've been tricked. Them not spirits, them men. I, I do not understand. But you've seen. You must believe. Yet I saw spirits. They disappeared into space. They disappeared as easily as I cover this water. But, oh. Now, Eagle Feather, now do you believe me? I am not sure. Two men have robbed your tribe. They have made you rob the settlers. They're bad men, outlaws. It's, this is not possible. Legend of Valley. The legend of the valley is a story. There is no truth in it. Let me ride Silver tonight. Let Tano ride Scout and we can prove it. I do not know what to say. Even if you make me believe, you not make my tribe believe. They are outside waiting to take you to Valley. We'll go to the valley. But let us have our horses. We promise no matter where we go, we'll not try to get away. You say ones we think are spirits are not spirits? If Tano and I are wrong, we die. Does that satisfy you? Yes, man, your word is good. You shall have your horses. Come, now we go. We shouldn't have come out here, Kalal. This here valley ain't no fit place at night. Those old ruins are scary. And what's that drum? I don't know. The masked man sent word, and that's why we're here. Don't you trust the masked man? Sure, but I'd feel a heap better if I knew what was going on. Besides, Johnson and the rest of the folks are grumbling that you should have gone for the soldiers. Yeah, I had to talk plenty to get them over that. And where's Ferris and Kelsey? The only one's missing. Well, I don't know. All I know is we're to stay here until we hear the masked man shout. Then we take after him. I hope he don't hit for them ruins across the valley. Wherever he goes, we follow him. Come on, come on. Look over there. I can see him coming over the ridge against the sky. It's Eagle Feather's tribe. They don't Shut see up, it. Johnson. I reckon we don't have so long to wait as we figured. Just keep quiet and wait. Hola! Why not? Steady, Silver. This is where spirits are seen. Eagle Feather, why we wait? I say we wait. That is why. Tonto. Plenty bad for us, huh? When the drum stops, the riders will show themselves. Then we go after them, understand? Ah, Tonto hope Injun Arrow not hit us first. If we fail, these Indians will go on the same way. You think it's Ferris, Kelsey? We'll find out. <laughs> Summon stop. Now watch. Ready, Tonto. Gather your reins. Be ready. They come. It's spirits of cliff dwellers. <laughs> now, Mask One, you see. They are from Mother World. We'll find out for ourselves. Now, Tonto, get them up. Come on, Silver, after them. They escape. Stop them. Stop them. Straight across the dark valley, faster than the Indians' arrows, raced the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Behind them, from different directions, pounded the Indians and the settlers. And up ahead... Close to the ruins of the cliff dwellers, 
Ferris and Kelsey turn suddenly in their saddles. What in blazes? Ferris says the masked man and his pod. Quick, turn the horses so they can't see the goal. It's too late for that. Head for the cliff. They're coming like the wind. The whole tribe's after them. The settlers, too. Run the yard, Lowe. Up. Kelsey, run for it. Up the cliff. We can hold them off from the ruins. This doggone paint. They can see us clear. I'm going to shoot. <laughs> Drop those guns. I've got you. Let go of them. Your gun. Let me get another one. You not move. Don't shoot, Injun. Don't shoot. Mister, mister, listen. There's still time. We got golden furs headed away up in those ruins. Help us get away before the tribe and the settlers get here and we'll split with you. Don't move, either of you. There's still time. Yeah, yeah. Let us get away. We'll give you everything, everything we took. You're getting what you deserve. We'll wait right here. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, man, get crooks. Mister, you did it. Who are they? Hello, Ferris. Ferris has killed me. Quiet. Eagle Feather, tell your warriors to quiet down. Go on. Let it go. Oh, let fast man speak. We have tribe have been fooled. These two outlaws have your gold and furs hidden away in the ruins. They'll show you where everything is. Won't you, Ferris? Yeah, yeah, sure. The settlers will put these men in jail to await trial. Oh, quiet. This one is right. They must be given over to law. Take them, Carlyle. Now, you're prisoners. Mister, they'll be in the calaboose before sunup. Come here, you desert rats. Carlyle, I speak for a tribe of Eagle Feather. We have been wrong. We shall give back all these men have, all we were forced to take from you, and more. Once again, there shall be peace between us. Eagle Feather, there, there sure will. Yes, sir, Injun. And from now on, this here valley won't mean a thing. Nobody will be afraid to come here. It'll be a different place, thanks to the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.